Hello students, welcome back to my channel, Mind Your Exam. So in this video, we would be studying does changing the value of the parameters in a function change the value of the arguments also. So we would be using the id function or the identity function that we have discussed in previous chapters to find out whether changes in the parameter values are also reflected in the arguments of a function that are passed during the function call. Okay, so we would be discussing this with the help of a function and the uh, extra statements of the program that I have written down here. So in this program, I am defining a function whose name is my function and I am passing a single parameter to it named num. Okay, now in the uh, statements that are present outside the function, that means that are part of the remaining program, I'm taking a number as an input from the user and I'm storing it in the variable num. Okay, now what I'm doing just to check when does the ident ID of the argument and the parameter values change or does it always remain same or what are the condition in which the id may change or may remain the same we will be uh, specifying that or we will be studying that using the print function that will be printing the id of the argument and the parameter at each point the uh, these values are used within the function okay so right now we have just taken a value from the user and this value is stored in the variable num since we will be using it as the argument, before passing it as an argument, we are printing the identity of this particular uh, variable num. Okay, and this is done by using the id function id bracket num. And in this particular print statement, you will be getting some uh, uh, a value along string of digits. And now you have to check whether when we print the id of the parameter is that the same or does it change during course of time okay so now we are making in the next statement we are making the function call in the function call we are specifying the name of the function my underscore function and we are passing the num variable as the argument okay so you can execute this program in your uh, any of your ides that you are using for python programming now in the function definition, the value of the argument named num will be passed to the parameter named numb. Okay, we have discussed the differences between arguments and parameters in the previous video. So inside the function, we first print the id or the identity of the parameter numb. Alright, without making any change, we will be printing this value. And when you uh, execute the statement you will see that till this point the identity or the id function will return the same value for the argument as well as for the parameter all right that means the variable num that was used as the argument and the variable num that is used as the parameter both are referring to the same location that is storing the same value okay now in the next statement inside the function we change the value of this parameter num and we increment it to uh, by 2 so num has been increased by 2 and again we are printing the identity of the incremented value that means the uh, value the new value that is now stored in the parameter variable num okay so again we use the identity function id of num now when you execute this statement you will notice that this particular statement returns a different identity that means the new value is stored at some other location and now the parameter variable is pointing to the new value it is not pointing to the value that was uh, initially pointed by the argument variable num okay 
so what does this mean uh, in the context of uh, the changes getting reflected in terms of arguments and parameters it basically means that initially the argument and the parameter have the same identity that means both the variables corresponding to the argument and the parameter are referring to the same memory location having one particular value and this identity remains unchanged as long as you do not make any modifications in the parameter okay so what you need to remember is that the argument and the parameter will have the same identity as long as the parameter value is not changed inside the function and as soon as it gets changed as soon as you assign a new value to the parameter or you change a val the value of the parameter in any way the identity of the argument and the parameter would become different and why would that become different because now the parameter would be pointing to some new value stored at some other memory location in the by the python interpreter okay so to visually understand this understand this let's assume that the user entered the value 5 which was initially stored in the argument num okay before the function call the variable num was pointing to this particular memory location and before changing the parameter when the function call was executed and the control transferred to the function definition for executing the statements of the function body till then the parameter num was also pointing to this same memory location storing the same value 5 okay so both the argument and the parameter were pointing to the same location but as soon as you change the value of the parameter inside the function a new memory location now stores the updated value the incremented value in our case and now the parameter is pointing to the latest upgraded value it is no longer pointing to the same value as being pointed by the argument okay so apart from this two other points that are very important and you must remember is that arguments can uh, not only be uh, any direct values they can also be expressions so in the last video i mentioned that you can pass values of any data type as arguments but in addition to that you can also pass expressions for a particular argument that will be evaluated first and then the evaluated value of that particular expression will be passed to the parameter inside the function definition okay so expressions are also allowed but when you uh, print the value of the expression that means uh, the actual value that will be assigned to the parameter corresponding to this particular argument then the parameter will store the expressions value so the function call is executed after evaluating the expression and the evaluated value is then assigned to the parameter okay so last point for this video is the order in which you assign the arguments is very important if you have in a function three parameters say a b c and you want to assign the value 1 to a the value 2 to b and the value 3 to c then you must be very careful in uh, writing the order in which uh, in writing the arguments during the function call so you will have to specify during the function call 1 comma 2 comma 3 if you want the values that are passed to the parameter a b c as a equal to 1 b equal to 2 and c equal to 3 if you change the order then the assignment will also change that means the first argument no matter what you specify or what you want to specify always the python interpreter will assign the first argument to the first parameter the second argument to the second parameter and so on so there is a pair 
that uh, at the back end the uh, python interpreter uh, treats the argument and parameters as a pair so you have to maintain the order okay so keep these points in mind while writing arguments and parameters when you define a function okay so in the next video we would be studying more in detail about functions if you have any particular questions do let us know in the comment section below share this video with your friends and let us know if you want to study any particular topic about the python programming language so uh, till we meet in the next video mind your exam thank you for watching